In this tutorial, we will teach you how to exclude overlapping shape areas in Photoshop. First of all, pick up the text tool, type in your text and align it to the center of the canvas. Here we would be using impact for the font. Now convert the text layer into a shape layer. Pick up the path selection tool, select the complete text and click on the exclude overlapping shape areas option. Now all you have to do is select each letter and overlap them on the previous alphabet. Once done, align the text to the center of the canvas and select the background layer. Choose 333333 for the color fill and apply it on the layer. Now choose E4, E4, E4 for the color fill. Pick up the brush tool, use a soft brush, increase the size of the brush till it covers the whole canvas and apply it on the canvas. Now select the shape layer and open up the layer style options. Move over to the drop shadow tab, set the angle to 90 degrees, distance to 5 pixels, spread to 10% and size to 5 pixels. Next, move over to the bevel and emboss tab and set the depth to 10%. Last of all, move over to the stroke tab, choose 5 pixels for your stroke and choose E1D909 for the color fill. Change the blend mode of the stroke to overlay. Now duplicate the background layer and name it Lens Flare. Once done, open up the filter menu, move over Render and click on the Lens Flare option. Choose 150% for the brightness and choose 50 to 300 mm zoom for the lens type. Once done, move the Lens Flare layer right at the top and change the blend mode of the layer to Linear Light. Now select the layer where we applied the soft brush and move it right at the top and change the blend mode of this layer to Color Burn. Now create a new layer and position it above the lens flare layer. Fill the layer with black color, open up the filter menu, move over noise and choose the add noise option. Use 10% for the amount. Choose Gaussian and monochromatic distribution for the filter. Now change the blend mode of this layer to overlay and select the lens flare layer. Use the transform tool to move or tilt the flare so that it covers up the whole text. If the background layers are a little visible, simply pick up the paint bucket tool, select the layer where we added the noise filter, and paint the layer with black color. And there you have it. 